Hey guys, even here, and believe it or not, Cedric actually pulled it together this time. This is Fit Parade, an IFBB Pro League competition just held in Budapest, and Cedric actually looked quite decent. I mean, this is still not that next level conditioning. It's nothing like Sean Rodin winning Mr. Olympia physique or Phil Heath's any kind of physique, really. That's not that kind of conditioning. You can see it especially right here in the glutes and hamstrings. But would this be enough to win him Mr. Olympia in 2019 against Brandon? Possibly, possibly, yeah. But anyways, he pulled it off. Finally, we can see Cedric looking lean, at least lean. So he's not off. I mean, he was pretty on a couple of times before, but not till recently. Earlier this year, the Arnold Classic Ohio, he was, I guess, he was fine, but he was not really on. At the Australia, Arnold Classic Australia, when he placed second, he was pretty good, but still not great. And at the Mr. Olympia, he was way off, totally off. And now, he's looking really good. Look at the depth in that chest. This right here is actually why he is known for his genetics. This is not something you can get with any kind of training, really. I mean, yeah, this is years and years of hard, heavy training, for sure. I mean, it's not just genetics, of course, it's hard training, but some people train hard or even harder than him and still never get this type of depth in not only his chest, but basically all around. His triceps are looking sick, the back as well. The quads are also very good. He's very complete. The only thing that he's missing is pretty much like any other black man, Kels. But aside from that, everything is spot on and judges really don't care that much about Kels. It's such a small, small muscle. But the depth of this chest, it's such a deep chest, it's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm really blown away. I made a video before saying that he has one of the best chest from basically all the guys in modern bodybuilding. I mean, him, Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath, Branch Warren, and so on, but he has definitely one of the best chest. And now, when he's actually conditioned, you can see those striations and you can see the depth. Really, really deep chest. And I love it. I love how it looks. Very aesthetic and very freaky looking at the same time. Very, very dominant physique. And of course, there was no chance for him to lose this show. Even though Nathan Diash and Lucas Osloga looked great, he is just another level. He is the Mr. Olympia potential. If he just pulls it together finally one day, he will win it. If he pulls it together at this year's Mr. Olympia, I have no doubt he will win it. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. But uh, let's move on. Let's proceed. I will show you the other guys as well. There most certainly was a lot of great competitors at this show, but you probably guys know only a couple of them, so let's focus on them. But let me show you the others just real quick. So here in the middle, you can see Max Charles. And I'm sure you know about him. He's American as well. On the left, all the way left behind this lineup, there is Lucas Osladil, who will be in the top three later on. And this guy next to Max Charles on the right actually took fourth, but uh, we'll see about that later. Anyways, Max Charles did not take fourth place. I think he was fifth, but I'm not sure. Maybe not even fifth. But he is the only uh, known name guy. The others are really not that famous, but maybe in the future, who knows. Actually, a Serbian bodybuilder turned pro in the open division, of course, won the overall, and he is an IBB pro. He is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, fourth Serbian bodybuilder, professional bodybuilder ever. Of course, you know Milo Sharchev, and there is two more of them who never qualified for the Mr. Olympia, and this is the fourth one. His name is Maxim Trzin. So try to remember it, maybe he will become a star in the future. I just saw this guy in a show next to my town, really close. I went to watch him and his legs are crazy looking. So of course he turned pro and um, he has a bright future ahead of him. So guys, try to remember his name. It's not really hard to remember. Maxim, it's really easy. I didn't want to make a separate video about this because it would be too biased because he's Serbian and that's pretty much it. He just turned pro, he didn't really achieve much but maybe in the future, I really hope so. He has a lot of potential. He's a beast. He, this guy is freaking huge. Just look at those legs. Those quads are something insane. Seriously. Real crazy potential right here. This guy will be freak. Trust me. Hopefully, don't mind my advertising Serbian bodybuilding over here a little bit. Just a little bit. So try to remember his name. Maxim Terzin. Let's go with the big guys now. 
And of course, as you expected, the top three is Cedric McMillan, Nathan Diasha, and Lucas Osladil. So as you can notice, I mean, the first thing that pops to my eyes is their legs. There is a huge difference between all three of these guys. Lucas definitely having the best set of quads, the best set of wheels by far. Nathan, you know, lagging a little bit behind. Oh, what was that? That was an ass spank. <laughs> okay, okay, being a little gay on the stage, never mind. Um, as you can see right here, Nathan, the quads are okay, not that bad, not really good, but the hamstrings is really what he's lagging. And overall hardness. He is not as hard as Cedric, and that's really not something you can say every day, that Cedric is out-conditioning somebody, but definitely not as hard, especially through the glutes and hamstrings. Look at the hamstrings of Cedric. Lucas actually was way better conditioned than Nathan, and I would definitely consider giving Lucas that second spot, but no, Nathan deserved it, and that's probably because of the upper body fullness, the black man genetics, really. Um, Lucas is just too white, he's Slavic, and uh, so he doesn't have that fullness in the upper body. Just look at the legs, the chest, the back, everything. Really, there is no fullness. The quads and the glutes and the hamstrings and overall conditioning, Lucas is definitely dominating, but as far as the upper body fullness, no, just, just no. And here you can see, um, the abs and thighs, not a great shot for Lucas, nor for Cedric, really. But Nathan is pulling it off quite nicely. Although Cedric absolutely deserved this victory, he was the fullest, the biggest, the most complete and the most conditioned bodybuilder on this stage. Let's just put it the most complete one. Maybe Lucas was a little bit more conditioned, especially through the lower body, but maybe not really. They were close, very, very close. And I do think uh, Cedric deserved this victory. It wasn't even questionable, really. It was really obvious um, just at the beginning. He was having better lower body than Nathan, and he had fuller upper body than both of these guys. So just, yeah, he was another level. He is the Mr. Olympia winning potential if he comes conditioned. Nathan is not, Lucas is not, none of these guys are. So definitely well-deserved victory for Cedric. One of the better shapes that we saw Cedric in a, in a while, really. And I loved it. I loved it. I hope he will bring this kind of conditioning more often. Uh, in the last post that he made on Instagram, I made a video about this, really. Uh, he said it's anxiety. It's anxiety that actually slows him down at these big shows. But right now, he's probably more relaxed because this is just Budapest. It's not really a huge show like Mr. Olympia. And uh, it shows on his physique. He definitely looked more uh, well-rested and more conditioned for sure. Now, is that really the reason or did he just diet harder for this show? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really trust him on that anxiety part. I mean, he's the bodybuilder on the best in the world ever and he's a military man. So how much anxiety can he have? How anxious can he be as a soldier? So I don't know. I don't really buy it, but uh, apparently he brought the conditioning right here. Uh, is that just the anxiety, the lack of anxiety or just simply the fact that he was dieting harder, or he did something drastic, something more drastic, like heavy diuretic use or something like that. Because these guys, really, they're not fat, they're just watery. So they just need to dehydrate properly. And he did it this time. Oops, another ass pank. What are these guys doing on this stage here? <laughs> this is a little bit suspicious. Uh, it's just positive energy, just positive energy. It's all cool. It's all good. Cedric said that he might drink some alcohol. To, to relax, to ease his anxiety. So maybe we are seeing his uh, honest side. <laughs> Just joking over here. Anyways, Cedric won this show fair and square. He looked great. This is Budapest Pro, and this is really close to my country. It's only like, I don't know, 400 kilometers. So I regret not going there, but I'm honestly in a bulking cycle right now. So I'm eating like every two hours. It's a bit really troublesome for me to go somewhere to travel and to eat every two hours. I could do it, of course, but I just didn't want to go to trouble and it's also very expensive. Maybe next year the Prague Pro, but this is one funny situation over here that happened. Cedric just took the microphone from the MC, so let me show you this situation and uh, let's hear Cedric's motivational speech. Because once again he did it, he always does these motivational speeches, almost always, whenever he wins, and they're actually really inspirational. So let me play this video for you again. Listen, first of all, thank you to the judges uh, for rating us. 
making us work hard, giving us the analysis we need for the promoters and all of the sponsors that put the show together. But I have to take this microphone and take this time to say thank you to all of these guys that are standing up here with me now and the ones that have already put their clothes on. I would, God knows, I would not be standing here right now if everybody backstage didn't take care of me. Thank you so much. You know, a lot of times, a lot of times we come to shows and we think about who's going to be in the show, what place can I get, or I go to a show and I'm just, but for, for, for all of us, we work to just try to improve our bodies. And that's what this show was for me to try to fix what my weaknesses are. Um, and this was an opportunity that I had to really try to push myself uh, even further. And in some ways, I think I may have pushed a little too far. Uh, but I hope for you, the audience, were satisfied with the show that we brought you. Thank you for having us. Good night. All right, I don't know about you guys, but this definitely made me laugh. <laughs> Seth just took that microphone out of the MC's hands, and I think it was a smart decision <laughs> because that was a little bit boring listening to that guy speaking in that Hungarian funny accent, hopefully not funnier than my Serbian accent. Anyways, guys, once again, Sergio McMillan won the Fit Parade. The Budapest show, as you can see, Max Charles is not in the top five. And uh, yeah, I don't know, he's out of the top five. These guys took the top five spots. Um, very good show, very good lighting. I must mention that. Very, very good lighting. Much, much better than Mr. Olympia. So these guys in Mr. Olympia should fix that for sure. Anyways, guys, tell me what do you think about this whole show. Make sure to remember the name, Maxim Terzin, once again. So, Cedric won it. Nathan was second, Lucas was third, very good show. Thank you very much guys for watching, like the video if you enjoyed it, please comment down below whatever you think, subscribe for more bodybuilding videos. All the best guys, bye bye.